Veganism versus meat eaters The debate continues. I believe they are two sides of the same coin and there are a few more pressing debates needed on the topic. There is a better way to be more healthy, protect the environment, and live more harmoniously with the planet. What is veganism? I consider veganism a more extreme form of vegetarianism and should not be confused with the plant-based diet. Veganism began in 1944 as an offshoot within the vegetarian society. There were members who decided not to eat dairy, eggs, or any other animal products along with not eating meat. That's when veganism was born. Veganism has since rapidly grown into a way of ethical living that often excludes all forms of animal exploitation, cruelty from food, clothing, and other industries. More ethical veganism believes strongly in animal rights. They are opposed to the psychological and physical stress animals may endure as a result of being housed in small pens and cages on the road from birth to the slaughterhouse. Wow! When I say it like that it does sound god-awful. That is the world we currently live in boys and girls. What meat eaters think of veganism? Any sane person would agree veganism principles are very reasonable. They are centered around better health, saving the environment, and preventing animal cruelty. It's no surprise that meat eaters agree with the overwhelming majority of vegan principles. More importantly, if many of us had to raise, kill, and slaughter animals for all of our nutritional needs we would quickly become vegetarians. I personally just could not do that much killing every day. Most meat eaters think veganism is ethical, study says. So where are the pain points for meat eaters? Meat eaters believe taste, price, and easy access prevent them from considering a vegan lifestyle. For me and the overwhelming majority of meat eaters taste is the number one reason we will not become vegan. I am almost embarrassed to say I love the taste of meat. I really do and please do not mention meat substitutes or I will be forced to choke you out. LOL. The second most common reason meat eaters reject veganism is related to the cost of vegan meat substitute products and the ability to find vegan meals outside of the home. I personally have a problem with meat substitutes that are created in science labs. More testing is needed and I believe there can be a conflict of interest between public safety and the possibility of grossing massive profits. Unfortunately, the business end of producing vegan meat substitutes and other vegan products does not subscribe to the ethical standards that are the foundation of veganism. On the other hand, most meat eaters probably agree with almost 100% of veganism principles but are not willing to bear the personal cost of making the switch. There, I said it. Lol. Yeah, that's right. Veganism's effect on the brain. Veganism is more than a diet, as we pointed out earlier it's a way of life. Everyone has heard the complaint that veganism may not satisfy the body's protein and vitamin B12 needs. I believe going vegan can be good for the planet and unfortunately, I also believe the move from a hunter-gatherer society to an agricultural society has doomed human existence to failure. I discuss that in my video, how weak domesticated humans left us dying to be gluten-free. You will find my take on the topic fact-based and interesting. As a result, I am not totally sold on the health benefits of veganism as there are studies that show going vegan and eating an entirely plant-based diet is good for your health. That's all good but is veganism good for your brain? I believe that is a very important question. When it comes to going completely vegan, there's not a lot of evidence to determine if it's healthy for the brain. Research shows that omega-3s in fatty fish, flavonoids, and antioxidants that are essential for good brain health may be lacking in the vegan diet. I know there are a ton of studies and evidence that show vegans are at a lower risk for cancer dementia and heart disease and a higher risk of stroke. The pescatarians were found to have a 13% lower risk of CHD than the meat eaters, while vegetarians and vegans had a 22% lower risk. But those on plant-based diets had a 20% higher risk of stroke. 
The researchers suggested this could be linked to low vitamin B12 levels but said more studies were needed to investigate the connection. BBC News. In our vanity, we place a high value on looking good, maintaining a healthy weight, and prolonging life. Very high value. Lol. I say vanity because we almost never consider brain health. Just look at the prolific use of performance-enhancing drugs. More research is needed to determine if positive and negative results are from people's diet or a result of differences in lifestyle overall. The long-term research is also complicated by the modern evolution of vegan and vegetarian diets over the decades. Traditions, technology, and product availability have changed the face of vegan and vegetarian diets. These advancements can skew the results of long-term research. Are the current results solely linked to the subject's diet, or are there other factors, like regular exercise, smoking, or the environment? Is avoiding or partaking in other food groups or other behaviors a determining factor? Unfortunately, there's no conclusive evidence supporting eating a plant-based diet prevents cognitive decline either. Many experts believe veganism can actually raise your risk of illnesses like Alzheimer's because of the lack of fats crucial to optimal brain health. Similar to the minimalist lifestyle, there are no set rules. There are suggestions on what you can eat but there are also unhealthy vegan items on the menu. Not to pick on veganism because this can be true of any diet. Veganism can lead to deficiencies in B12 and choline which are critical to proper brain function. Vegans also have to be mindful of supplying the brain with an ample range of healthy fats and proteins to ensure optimal health. Conclusion. I believe the only real pain point between veganism and the average meat eater is the will to change. Meat eaters on average agree with the solid foundation veganism is built on. We have just not been convinced a change is needed. There are valid concerns about price and availability but as time and advancements go on they are evaporating. I may be cynical but I believe that all of these fad diets are based on vanity. I believe a simple well-rounded diet is best but that is boring. Everyone loves to appear different from the average person and does not mind mentioning their diet of choice at every opportunity. Constantly. LOL. I am concerned more about brain health and the toxic agricultural society we live in that actually may be the catalyst for all of the problems veganism aims to solve. The biblical story of Cain and Ale explains it all. In a nutshell before the explosion of agriculture, there was a herding culture, hunter-gatherers. Similar to the minimalist lifestyle of today the herding culture lived without excess. They live with what was truly important to them only with what they could carry. Reading Cain's murder of Abel and the account of Cain's descendants as a metaphor for the trajectory of human development and the change in patterns of human behavior. Dash the Torah.com. With the rise of agriculture came a sedentary lifestyle very different than the very active hunter-gatherer. People were stationary and for the first time able to amass excess wealth and more than one person could ever need. As time went on this led to theft, cities, the need for law enforcement and war to protect possession or conquer others to acquire riches and the worst of all. Dot dot. Lawyers. Law. This led to a growing need to feed the rapidly growing population in cities with increased farming. Farmers found the need to increase the size of their families to work on the farms as the cities continued to expand exponentially. Animals were used to work the farms and became a food source. Do you see the vicious cycle? That leads us to today. Veganism versus meat eaters where vegans may be trying to solve a problem with increased agriculture that may be a major cause of the problems they seek to address. Again I discuss this in more debt in how weak domesticated humans left us dying to be gluten free. Veganism versus meat eaters. Did you find this truly shocking? Thank you for stopping by. Click like and bang on that subscribe button. Please visit the description for even more life-changing information.